Oh, nice one. Oh, that is a nice one. Nice one. Woo! Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, look at that! 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 Oh! 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 Dude! Dude! No way! What? Welcome back, guys. Got an exciting one for y'all today. We are out here on the banks of the river. If you look right here, you see I've got my boat all rigged out. Well. That's because we took it out earlier out there on the river. We were on the back side of that current break and we were quite unsuccessful to say the least. We caught a few little catfish, um, but it just wasn't happening. The water wasn't wasn't just right. So we decided before we just bailed on that place altogether that we would come over here and walk down the bank and go do some fishing. Well, fast forward like five hours now, we're back up here. We've already done our fishing trip, but I have to say we had an epic day of slaying a bunch of fish. Y'all are not gonna miss this one. Like literally one after another, caught some river monsters. It's wild and crazy, so buckle up. Stay tuned, hopefully I'll enjoy this one. If so, do me a huge favor, hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Now let's make our way down the bank and get this party started. See you guys down there. There we go, fish on, fish on, fish on. It is a white bass. There we go, first fish of the day. Down here below this dam is a white bass. The water is ripping really hard, so it should have these fish positioned by the bank. I'm kind of working my bait back upstream. There's really not a better, any better way to work it, but uh, we we're on the board. First fish, a little white bass. Send it back so we can't get another one. You can kind of see it's coming across right here and kind of shooting back to the bank and then it kind of flips back here. I'm just trying to work my bait as slowly as possible through there. Oh gosh. Oh, striper, striper, striper. Well, that's awesome. There's freaking stripers down here. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh no, he came off. Oh, he's right there. Oh, oh he's gone. Well, there's stripers in here. I mean, there's literally a whirlpool, a whirlpool that I'm casting into. I think it's sucking the jigs down. I'm not using very heavy jigs. I have two 16th ounce jig heads. And I mean, the water is really just taking it all over the place and it just seems like there are some fish fired up down here. Looking for something to eat. I'm gonna try to dial it in so I can be a little more specific on what's going on, but I have Honestly, no idea where my baits are right now. I'm just trying to keep tension with my line so I can feel that bite. There we go, right in front of me. Right in front of me, smallest white bass of the day. We'll take it, he thumped it though. These white bass are fired up. I love the spring white bass season. I just love coming down here below these dams, tossing on a double jig rig. You don't know what you're gonna catch. Most fish you're catching are desired fish species. It's just a lot of fun. I look forward to this time of year every year. There we go. I just let that one just kind of just drift. Drift right into the bank. Just kind of held it there. I was twitching it, but I was kind of letting it just fade right to the bank. I know this curly tail is kicking. Another nice little white bass. I want another striper. I want another striper. Oh, I got one. It feels kind of weird. I think it's just a little guy. Got him. A lot of white bass right here. There's a couple of breaks downstream. We might find some more species, but for now I'm having a good time catching these little guys. I feel like we can get another big striper. Or that striper I had wasn't monstrous, but it was a good sized one. Should really get some bigger white bass. This water has been fluctuating a good bit. If we can catch it whenever it kind of calms down just a little bit. I mean, business. Because right now, it's really, it's really moving. That's the sweet spot right there. That is the sweet spot. Another one. I love it. Got him. 
another little white bass. I don't know if there's any big ones right here or not. It's a tiny little area. I mean, it's literally just this little tiny little spot. But I can kind of control it my jigs. I think that they, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of little, a bunch of little white bass right there. So many little white bass. I feel like the water sped up too much where I was at and I couldn't get my jigs down. I need some big quarter ounce heads. That's a little bit better. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. I didn't mind catching the little shrinky dink white bass because that's like to catch stuff, but that's a lot better. It's such a weird little spot. If I had a jigging rod right now, it would be game over. A jigging rod with like a eighth ounce or a quarter ounce jig head to stick it down in there and hold it. Game over. It's not deep. It's not deep right there either. I can see my top jig the whole time. There, another one. What bass? Whoop. There we go. That's a little bit better. Woo. They feel better when they hit that current. He is better though. I feel like we're due for a drum. We should, we should be catching a drum up in here. I want to like another striper. I thought that striper first thing. I ain't had another one since that I know of. Oh, nice one. Oh, that is a nice one. Nice one. New spot right off the back side of this rock. Oh, I feel like... This is our biggest white bass since the first one we caught. That first one I caught, I feel like the first one we caught was good. I don't even remember at this point. We caught so many in such a short period of time, but that's a pretty one. He's a good chunky one. Wee. He bit, we got this rock right here and his water is just gushing all over the place. It's really hard to comprehend and understand where the bait's going. I'm just sticking it out there and just hoping for the best. I'm just jiggling it. Like sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Another one. Woo! That's why I'm saying it'd be so, ooh, got me. I'm saying it'd be so deadly if I had a jigging rod. I'd be able to really have maximum control. We're doing okay. I need to quit complaining. I'm catching fish every cast. What am I talking about? Got you. Oh, look at that white bass got me. He stabbed me. Bleeding all over the place. Bye. Oh, God. Did he break me off? Nope, got him. Another nice one. Dang, where are these fish coming from? It never ends. Oh, that'd be another great eater. There's Chunky, might be a female. Beautiful, look at this. Big, beautiful white bass. Oh, oh, what is that bass? What is that, blue sucker? Spotted bass! Oh, I thought it was a blue sucker. Look at there, we got ourselves a new species. Spotted bass. I didn't know what it was. It looked weird. I thought I had a blue sucker. That's all I want to catch is a blue sucker now. Beautiful spotted bass. Stomped it. Thumped it. Thumped it. Oh, he's fighting me. Get up here. Yes, sir. White bass are so chunky. Don't break my tail off. Another chunky white bass. Smoked it. Is that another bass? I got two. Daily double. Daily double. All right. About time. I had a feeling we were going to get a double in a second with as many as we were catching. There's our first official daily double of the day. Two white bass. 
on the double jig rig. There's one. There's two. Let's get another one. Oh, I didn't even know I had one. Ow. Wish I had a fish clicker on me right now so I can keep counting how many I've caught. Because I've just... I started off good in the first spot and then they just shut down on me and then I moved up here and it's like they all just swam up in here. Kind of a weird deal. I mean, it's every cast almost right here now. The size quality has seemed to have gone down overall, but we're still getting bit. And at any moment we hook up with the monster. I mean, that is the only spot right here where fish can get out of the current for a moment. And I'm sure there's all sorts of little minnows and shad down there. Maybe not shad. I haven't seen any shad. But bait fish nonetheless. Oh, baby. Is that a bass? Oh, it was a striper. No, he got away. Dang it. I lost my jigs. I had to retie and put some new baits on there. I got double crappie magnets on there now. I got a black and chartreuse and a shown of chartreuse on the top just to mix things up. I was throwing, you know, that curly tail grub and a white and chartreuse magnet earlier. I like the double magnets for this situation because I can just sit here and twitch it and I feel like it's got a better presentation. I'm trying the black and chartreuse, the water's pretty murky. I feel like they might like it a little more. Got you. Oh, it's a nice white bass. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Got us another white bass. No shocker there. And you see I swapped it up to a black and chartreuse crappie magnet. Love this color in dark water. This isn't the murkiest water, but it's definitely murky enough where this color does play. It looks good. I always have a bright orange. I like to have a bright orange jig head or a bright pink jig head too and I'm in murky water. Let's see if we can get another one. He enjoyed it. They gotta be getting close to being all sore lipped. I feel like I've caught another one. Oh, oh, green sunny. New species. Green sunfish. That's good catfish bait. Should toss them out on my catfish pole out there, but I haven't really had any luck catfishing today. That's what I was doing earlier. Before I came down here and started trying to catch these white bass and things. Oh, they're fired up again. Got them in a feeding frenzy. Tearing up that bottom jig. It's just fish after fish after fish. Woo! Oh, that's a big fish. Is that a bass? It's dark, it's different, it's different. Whatever it is, it's different. I think it's another spotted bass or something. Oh, baby. Something new, something different. Oh, nice spotted bass, let's go. That's what we like right there, that's a good one. That is a good spotted dog. Ain't nobody gonna be mad about that right there. That is a stud spotted bass. He wanted the show enough chartreuse right in the top lip. Beautiful fish right there, guys. Super healthy, beautiful colors. I love catching these spotted bass down on the river. Oh man, they are fired up, fired up. And like a chartreuse was the move. Was the move. I might go back to my original spot and catch some now. They might have repositioned, but it's gonna be hard to leave these ones. Woo! Oh, that was sick. <laughs> I just lowered my rod down to him. And he got it. Gobbled it up. Black and chartreuse crappie magnet, guys. This is a color you can find in our crappie magnet bundles. I'll leave it linked down below. If you haven't tried the crappie magnet, I highly encourage you to try it. It catches everything. We've got a wide assortment of colors in our bundles that work for a bunch of different water conditions. And I don't go anywhere without it, except for today where I just grabbed a couple packs out of it. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, I got a white bass. I gotta show you this. This is crazy. This is crazy. My fish isn't crazy. My buddy's fish is crazy. Okay guys, so y'all are not gonna believe this. So the whole time I've been down here fishing, catching these white bass, my buddy Dakota's been up on 
uh, up on this wall uh, doing some snack fishing, trying to snack some rough fish, trying to snack some paddle fish and stuff. And he just hooked a monster and he ran down. I was going to follow him, but he took off and was gone. Oh my gosh. This dude's got something crazy. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's a paddle shark. A bent nose too. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. 50 pounds? Uh, probably. I got my 40? scale. We can weigh it somewhere. Probably 40-ish. That's a big one, bro. Congrats on that. Turn him sideways. Let me see his head. Oh, man. Dude, is that the beast you were after? That is the beast I was after right there. <laughs> that oh. right there will turn your day around. Look at that tail. Oh, my goodness. That is a big one. I haven't seen one that big in a while. Looks like a shark out there. Yeah, this is Dakota's favorite fish. He might not say so, but he's always like, dude, I'm going to catch some paddlefish. And I'm like, oh. all right. Dude loves the paddlefish. He's good at catching them, too. That thing is crazy. He's got a big old bent nose. Oh, man. And it's that time of year these river monsters run around. It makes my little white bass look kind of stupid, but <laughs> that's legit. White bass taste better. These hey, guys are pretty good. They're pretty good. Let me see his mouth. Open that mouth. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I'm gonna need Go to catch you. some pictures for me. Go catch you another one. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Dude, I got down there. It felt like I was stuck on the bottom the whole time and I was pulling them in. You went like 500 yards down the bank. I went farther than the last one. That is crazy. I'm shaking, boy. Awesome. Well, I think I'm gonna try to catch me a couple of more, and I might try to do what Dakota was doing so if I can't get one of those monsters. That would be crazy. Now's the time of year when you can really get into some of those big paddlefish below these dams. And that was a stud. That's a big old, big old paddlefish. Oh. That was a big old paddlefish. I mean, cool paddlefish would eat lures. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. I don't know what this is. He's trying to pull me in. Gosh dang, what is that? Oh, it's a nice white bass. Get up here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna catch one more fish right here and I'm gonna go try to do what Dakota was doing. I have the gear to do it. I think. That's awesome. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm turning. Dude, how are you still upright? I'm not. The fish is holding me up. Oh, look at that. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's not a catfish, I don't think. This one ain't as willing to go downstream. It's a fun story. I gave Dakota this reel because I said it was broken. And he said, I can make it work. I like it. And you just caught that 50 plus pound paddlefish on it. Yeah, about to go for another run. To get him up. I'm gonna try. Get him, get, if you can get him up right here, you'll be in business. You have your you have your hundred pound leader on there? Yep, 120. I can't get him up. Oh man, don't hurt yourself. Here we go. Here he goes. Don't let him run you down there. Oh, he's going for it. I wasn't much help on the last one because I didn't think it was that big. I thought it just got down in the current. He said it wasn't that big. It turned out to be a monster. This one actually looks big. Be interesting to see what it is. Oh, baby. Out, He's trying to, isn't he? I thought I might help him out this time. All right, we caught back up with Dakota again. And you're probably wondering why we're chasing these fish or why he's chasing this fish all the way down here. It's because the current is so strong and these fish, they get caught in it. And when they're big, like this one is supposedly going to be, they just kind of manhandle you. And there's no way of pulling it back upstream. So you just gotta go with it. If you try to pull it back upstream, you'll pull the hook out every time. And we've done this so many times with big catfish hooks in the mouth and with things snagged that we just know that you know, once it gets past that break, you gotta go for a run. And this is about where you land them at. 
You think this is, you think you broke your, the last one was Dakota's PB. You think this is your new PB? Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, man. We spoiled her out too. I ain't no good. Dude, get wrecked, man. Oh, I am wrecked. Also, check out this fishing rod. He's got it wrapped in a coral snake pattern. It's venomous, highly venomous. He's pulling me, dude. He's pulling so hard. At least these are the easy rocks to walk on. I wish I would have videoed you almost uh, busting your neck, but I'm glad you didn't. I think you're gonna keep this guy on. You already got past all the hard stuff. Oh, he's coming towards the bank. Okay, here we go. Let's go catch up with him. All hands on deck. Did you bring the gaff today? Nope. No gaff, okay. Well, oh my God. That, that seagull's trying to eat him. He's so heavy. What do you think it is? Giant paddle or flat. You think it's a flat? No. That's not a flat. No, but I can't get him in. I'm gonna say paddle or big hay cart. For reference, we're here now. We were all the way up there. We've covered 400 yards at least. Chasing down this river monster. Oh, we're about, oh, 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 oh. I think I just saw a little piece of him. So heavy. We want to see him. Feels like 100 pounds. Dude, it might be. It's just like a fantasy, dude. No, I hope it's not. What if it's a, what if it's a, uh, a bull shark? There he is. Big paddle. You saw him? Yeah. Oh, no. Come on. Hey, this is your limit, fish. I know it. Hey, you're going to have to hand that pole over to me now. I know. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to spot. <laughs> yeah, the, see, we got a good current. Break. We should be fishing down right here. There's a bunch of minnows. Look at these minnows right here. This is where we need to be white bass fishing. All right. So Can good. he do it? If there was one guy that I believed in. Oh. oh! 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 Dude. Dude. No way. What? I was saying, there's one dude I, I believed in to uh, be able to hook and land these kind of things. It's Dakota. Oh, dude. Is it bigger? I don't know. It's close. Oh, 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 this ain't no Oklahoma paddle fishing. This is some Arkansas paddle fishing. Did go out there and go get him. Uh, get a little closer and I will. We need a bow fishing rig. Dude. Or just a gaff. Dude, you got him, you got him pegged. I think he's wrapped too. Oh, he is. He's getting wet. Since he gets close, I might need to grab the rod. Got a double hand on his tail. Oh yeah, you're good. You keep going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get a look at him. I gotta be careful. Make sure this hook don't fly back at me. I'm about to get a look at him. We already. Me and Dakota already seen him. Y'all ain't seen him yet. Oh man. I don't know if he's bigger, dude. Oh, he's a he's a meaty one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh gosh. Get that tail, get that tail, get the tail. Come here. Good hand tail. Get grab, get grab, Cole. Hold on tight. Yeah. I got him. <laughs> I had to grab him with my good hand. Oh, oh, oh. Switch me off, I got you. Oh, that's big. That's a, it's a toss up, dude. That's either your biggest or your second biggest. I think he's bigger than the other one. Watch that hook. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a hug. Whee. Oh my gosh. Big old slimy battlefish hugs. <laughs> oh wow. Dude, that oh. thing is big. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> He's so big you can't even get a hold of him. Okay. Get that tail. There you go. That's a monster. He's got a big old pointy sharp straight nose. The other one had a, had a little crooked nose like he ran to a rock. Look at that giant tail. How to get my hand around that thing. Dude, that is some meat. We're having some paddlefish nugs tonight. It's a giant. Guy. 
Oh my. That's a giant paddle. Oh my gosh, I'm done. I'm done white bass fishing. Congrats, man. Thank you. You earned that. I'm done. My limit fish, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you who don't know, when you're snagging paddlefish, you can snag two, and then once you're done, once you catch, once you snag two paddlefish, you have to be done completely. No more snagging. But that is immaculate. There we go. Hooked up. It's not that big, I don't think. Hooked up, oh, he's coming. I don't think it's something giant, like a giant paddlefish or anything. He's in the current, coming down. That last one I didn't know was big until I got him up there. Oh, we'll see him here in a second. Kitty cat. Woo. Got you a kitty cat, Dakota. Heads up. You doing flip? Yep. Channel cat. Woo. All right. Oh. Got us a kitty cat. See, the snagging limit is half your daily limit. So it'd be five catfish. I think channel catfish is their own separate limit, but we're, we're not going to snag that many catfish, I don't think. All right. There's the kitty cat. Hold some here for a second. We'll situate him here in a, just a moment. Okay, that'll mix things up. I pretty much have only caught white bass and uh, I caught a couple of spotted bass. And I got a channel catfish. Fish on! Uh Fish on. I don't know. It feels pretty good. I don't know how good it is though. It's always so hard to tell. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh. It's pretty good. I don't know though. It's kind of just sitting there. But it's also coming. Uh. Ugh. Come on. It's different. I'd be surprised if it was a catfish. Do you know how it is, dude? You never know. You never know. You never know. That's pretty big. It's pretty big. Pretty big? Yeah. Oh, broke it. No way. Yep. Oh, man.